There are times where you have to use a still image in your film because there is no live action footage available or you just want to create a slideshow that does more than just fade in and out. After Effects lets you animate those boring stills easily with just a few clicks and some imagination. When working in 3D space, you can use a camera that lets you drive around or through your images, just like when using a real camera. You can do dolly shots, zoom, pan, tilt, without having to spend all that money that would go into a real-life shoot. The only thing you need to select and work with are the keyframes of the camera. Just set a starting and ending point. The animation between that will automatically be rendered by the software. Thanks to different focal lengths, you can choose a lens without having to spend a few thousand bucks. Wide-angle lenses can be used to show how big the image is and for tight shots that still show a large part of the image. If you don't like your shots to be that distorted, then you should choose a focal length between 35 and 50mm, which are more common in feature films. If your computer is fast enough and you are not bored of blurry backgrounds, you can also play around with the depth of field, again, without having to spend too much money on expensive prime lenses. Another fun feature is the use of speed. You can start a fast movement and then slow it down just by setting a few keyframes. This camera technique can also be used for boring screen recordings, text or anything that doesn't move.